Okay, so first of all, I have here a list of research campaigns in which air samples were collected. And I also have here the latitude and longitude coordinates of the locations where each air sample was collected from. And I'm going to plot this data on a map using a bubble chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new column and I'm going to call it size and I'm going to make each of the values in this column one. Then I'm going to highlight these three columns and I'm going to go to insert and charts and bubble chart. Then I'm going to right click on this and select data and then I am going to select this and edit and I'm going to delete the series name and I'm going to make the X values into the longitude and then I'm going to make the Y values into the latitude and then I'm going to leave the bubble size as the size and I'm going to select OK and OK again and then I'm going to go back down to my chart and you can see that the first thing I needed to fix is that all of the bubbles are really large. So I'm going to add in another data point here. That I'm going to call size and I'm going to make the longitude and latitude of this 200. And I'm also going to make the size 200. Then I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag down each of these to include this new data point. And you can see here that it's now made all of the rest of the bubbles really small and I have one large size 200 bubble now. And I can alter the size of this to control how big or small I want the dots to be. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to edit the axes in order to remove this data point from the graph. So I know on a normal world map the latitude goes from minus 90 to 90 and the longitude goes from minus 180 to 180. Now I'm going to delete the grid lines and now I'm going to select the plot area and go to fill and picture and insert file and then I'm going to insert this image which I just downloaded off of the internet and now I have a map as the background of this graph and the next thing that I'm going to do is to alter the axes so that all of these data points end up in the correct location and I'm going to do that by adding in four new data points one for each corner of this grid so I'm going to go down here and type corner one and then I'm just going to click and drag this so I get four of them and then I'm going to type in 90 and 180 and 90 and minus 180 and minus 90 180 and finally minus 90 minus 180 and I'm going to make all of these size 5 so they're slightly bigger than the rest of the data now if I select this again I can click and drag again to fill in these four new data points and you can see that I now have dots in each of the corners so I'm going to edit the axes now to move these so if I make this minus 200 and I'll make this minus no 200 and that's too large so 190 and then this needs to be slightly bigger so minus 210 and that looks about right and then if I edit this one as well and I make this minus 100 and this 100 then this needs to be a bit bigger so minus 110 and it needs to be a bit bigger still so minus 120 and that's too big so minus 115 and could do with being a little bit larger than that 
and that looks about right. So now that I have the data points in the location that I want them, I can delete these four values. And then I'm going to remove the labels from the axes and also remove the line. And I'm going to do the same thing for this axis. So now I just have the map. Now I can make different kinds of data, different colors. I'm going to select the map and right click, select data and add a new series. And I'm going to call this measurement sites. And the X values will be the longitude and the Y values, the latitude and the bubble size will all be ones. I'm going to select OK and I'm also going to edit this and call it flights and then select OK and OK again. Do we go back down now? You can see I now have six orange dots on the graph as well. And I can add in a legend for this and put the legend on the bottom. Now I can also select this series and right click and add data labels. And then if I select these and value from cells and then select the labels that I want and select OK. And then if I go back down to the graph and remove the Y values, and I'm also going to remove one of the tackle stem labels because I don't need two of them. And then I'll select it and I will also make it so I have a solid white film and I will make the border black and I will also make the text black. Then I'm going to move Tackleston so it's on the left hand side and I will also do the same for Greenland. Now I can also add in data callouts by selecting a data point and right clicking and add data callout. And then if I click in here, I can edit all of the text and make it whatever I want. So I'm going to call it Geophysica Flights 2009 to 2010. And then I'll select this again and I will make the border black again and the text black again. Okay, and that is it.